Last week we checked out the 10 best underwater stages, and now I feel like doing the complete opposite. Instead of going down in the sea, well let's get up in the sky, but let's check out the airship levels this time around. Those levels, first introduced in Super Mario Bros 3, have become a recurring level type in a lot of Mario games, and I do have to admit that they are pretty fun. With the cannons, the fire bars and other hazards, they're the perfect replacement to the castle levels for me. Alright, just before we jump into it, can you hit that subscribe button to make sure not to miss anything? It takes a second and it helps me a lot. Alright, hey, I'm Nico, and here's my top 10 airship levels in Mario games. You know I had to start off this list with the OG airship levels, the ones from Super Mario Bros 3. But which one though? Cause every single world in this game, well besides the final one, ends with you boarding an airship and going through a level before you defeat the coupling that the ship belongs to. I played all of those levels again, and I just couldn't pick one of those boss ones. Simply put, they're all very similar, but not very difficult. That is, until I reached World 8, where I first did the tank level, then the boat level, and finally I reached this tiny airship level over there. This level has to be on the list because of how nerve-wracking it is. The rules are simple, really. There's a bunch of tiny airships and you have to jump from ship to ship while dodging the fire bars, the rocky wrenches enemies and their wrenches flying all over the place. The screen scrolls super fast, giving you little to no time to react and each jump scared me. There's no room for error in this level, and that's why I like it that much. Another game that loves to add tons of airship levels has to be Super Mario 3D Land, and I have to admit that there's a couple of pretty cool ones. I'd like to dedicate number 9 to World 4 Dash Airship, which is a very slow but very interesting airship stage. You do have to explore many airships in this one, and to move from one airship to the next, you'll be moving on those flip platforms. These blue and red platforms will flip side every time you jump, meaning you'll have to plan ahead before you jump or else you're in trouble. The airships in themselves are not too shabby either, allowing you to explore the inside part, as well as to jump on top to find secret hidden boxes. Once you reach this pink airship at the end, get ready to fight the mad lass Pum Pum, and then the level will be all done. It seems I always find a way to praise Super Mario Galaxy and how it uses the same galaxies in very different ways. For this list, I have to tell you all about Space Junk Galaxy, which at first seems to be a standard galaxy featuring pull stars, star bits and a couple of planets to explore. But wait until you select the second star, Camela's Airship Attack. And all of a sudden, well, the galaxy and the beautiful planets don't really matter that much. In this chapter, many airships make their approach and you have to explore them, defeat their enemies and open up treasure chests. As you're flying, you'll soon see Camela's airship, which looks fantastic with the red carpet, the purple rail guard and the octopuses defending it. Defeat those guys to reach the ship and get ready for a very fun fight against Camela. She's gonna use her magic wand to attack you with fireballs and Cooper shells. Obviously you'll want to avoid the fireballs because, um, well, ouch, but once you see a green shell, well grab it and throw it right back at her to get your star and your victory. You see, the great thing about making my own list is that I get to decide the rules, and I like to make them simple, as you know. If a game has Mario in it, then it can be on my lists. Yup, even Mario Kart. That's why I have to go with Airship Fortress from Mario Kart DS as this next pick. Like, take a good look at this track, it's just fantastic. You start by avoiding bullet bills as you make your way onto this giant airship, and once you board it, well you're going to have some rocky wrenches enemies as you make your way across the deck. Going down in the airship itself will force you to dodge evil fire bars 
and you end your trip in this boat by being launched from a giant cannon. Usually, these cannons fire cannonballs that you have to dodge, but not this time. This time, you're getting Mario launched. This track was recently added to Mario Kart Tour for the phones, and it just looks fantastic on it. It just makes me want to see it remade again in the next Mario Kart 9 game, which will eventually come out. I bet you guys will love this next entry, as it comes straight out of new Super Mario Bros. Wii. On top of World 6, after clearing the castle, you'll have to go inside the airship stage. And let me tell you that this one is pretty cool. First off, this level marks the return of the Rocky Wrench's enemies. But airship levels wouldn't be complete without those pesky wrench throwing moles. It's an auto-scroller stage, which makes it more reminiscent of the classic Mario 3 levels, and it does feature cool original stuff like those circular spinning platforms, the ability to go down a pipe to explore the underside of the airship, which is pretty cool, but the boss fight truly is what makes me love this level so much. You know how Bowser Jr. is always in his Koopa Clown car? Well, this level gives you one as well. So now, it's a bumper Koopa Clown car fight with you and Jr. You're gonna have to charge and bump him into the electric fences on the sides if you wanna win, which is just so fun. Best boss fight in the game, hands down. Get ready for a very controversial pick. I decided that World 5-A from New Super Mario Bros. 2 had to be in the list of best airship levels. Just by looking at the world map, you can tell why this is going to be controversial. A golden airship featuring golden circles, golden Koopas, coins, coins, coins and more coins! What's wrong with me? Well, you see, as much as I hate those yucky dirty coins, I did have a past life where I played new Super Mario Bros 2 like a mad lad and strived at collecting over a million coins to get the secret ending. Yup, that happened. Me and a million coins. <sighs> and World 5-A was one of my go-to levels, as you can just throw a Koopa shell down there and it's going to keep collecting yucky coins for the entire duration of the stage. I know, I know, shocking. But coins jokes aside, this special level is actually very fun and relaxing and it feels rewarding to visit it once in a while after playing a very difficult stage. New Super Mario Bros. U is a very fun game and I played it quite a lot. I even did a speedrun of this game the other day live on stream and replaying this game again reminded me that it features one of the most creative airship levels ever. No matter what you do, you cannot escape World 7 Airship, a level that decides to do airship levels differently. Instead of being in the airship as usual, well, you're walking on land and the big airship is lurking in the background, attacking you with a big Bowser Fist of Doom. You'll have to move left and right to avoid the hand crushing you, and that's pretty stressful. The second part of the stage is more traditional, with you hopping on a platform and moving while dodging fire bars and rocky wrenches enemies. And once you get to the top, well, you get to fight Bowser Jr., which is hiding in his flying Koopa Clown cart. <sighs> Alright, we get it, you love your cart, we get it, Bowser Jr. If you thought airship levels from Super Mario 3D Land couldn't get any better, well, you're completely wrong, gamers. World 3 Airship introduces a 3D level where giant skewers in the background come at you and you have to move quickly to dodge them. This level contains big spiky balls, giant skewers, falling donut platforms, and forces you to run through this section really fast if you want to make it out alive. This level is so simple and yet so effective at stressing you out and making the level challenging. Plus, the boss fight against the Mad Lad ain't so bad either. It takes place on treadmills and you'll have to take this into consideration when planning your jumps on Boom Boom's head. Good stuff, Nintendo. Good stuff. Boom Boom is a cool boss and all, but he is no match for my boy Bowser Jr. Especially if he comes with his very fearsome fleet. 
as seen in Super Mario Galaxy 2. This level is pretty epic looking. Look at the statues, those giant electric gates, those bullet bills, and we haven't even stepped on an airship yet. This will happen sooner than you think though, with airship appearing out of portals featuring hammer bros and other hazards. <laughs> Seriously though? Airships that appear out of portals in midair? Now this is very epic. To clear this stage and get the Grand Star, you'll also have to fight this giant robot and this is going to be easier said than done. If you enjoyed World 6 Dash Airship in Mario Wii, well get ready to fall in love with the level waiting for you in World 8. Now this is what an airship level strives to be. It contains Mecha Koopas and Cannons. Lots of them actually. You can even get infinite one-ups in this stage if you're skilled enough. It contains screws that you have to spin in order to move platforms and walls out of your way, which is always fun to do. I also have to give mad props to this giant cannon that spins around. This green cannon is actually a pipe. That's so cool. You'll be visiting the underside of the ship once again, which is not new but still very cool. And finally, the boss fight against Bowser Jr. is pretty creative. This time, Jr. will fly in the air and you'll need to wait for him to drop those big spiky bombs and use ground pounds to send them back flying in the air to defeat the dude. Man, I just love everything about this level. Thanks a lot for watching this video, my dudes. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, well, make sure to subscribe and to hit the bell to know when I post a new video or go live. Smash like to show me you enjoyed this list and tap the cards on screen right now to watch yet another video. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!